So this morning, uh, Colton shot a video, and he was talking about how you can forward your, your, your URLs, your domains, whatever you want to call them, when you are in the middle of building your auto-recruiting funnel. And so I wanted to show you a couple of different ways you could do that, seeing that uh, Colton kind of volunteered me, which is just fine. Um, so one of the ways you can do it is just go into, um, I'm in my GoDaddy account here, and just come down in, in your DNS. You just want to go into your DNS manager, and uh, pretty much all the, the name providers are all the same. Uh, just come down to your forwarding. We want to forward the we want to forward to. So we want to forward this domain, which is auto recruiting funnel without the S, to auto recruiting funnels with the S. And so we just say forward to this. We want it to be a permanent 301 redirect, forwarding only. And then you want to update your name servers and just click on save. So that's one of the simplest ways of doing it is right inside of your domain provider. Now, if you go into your ClickFunnels account, what you could also do is just set it up so that the default page um, actually redirects them to another funnel. Um, you can only do that to another funnel. You couldn't do that to the Prove It page or anything like that. Whereas over here, you could just have this forward to your Prove It link and just send people there while you're building your auto recruiting funnel. Here you'd have to send them to another funnel page. And if you bought the domain through ClickFunnels, you actually could go in and change the uh, DNS records in there so that it could forward to somewhere else. But then you start getting into some tricky stuff and I'd probably advise against doing that. But if you did, you just come down to edit your zone records and then just go in there and, and change it out. I'm not even going to show you because uh, you probably just mess it up anyway. A uh, third way of doing it is uh, something that um, Elir mentioned in the, uh, the comments was that uh, you could just do it if you have a WordPress blog. And he, uh, let me see if I can find his comment in here. He mentioned a plugin. whereas I, in the past, I've used the Yoast plugin, and you can do 301 redirects with the uh, Yoast plugin, and that's another way of doing it. But the absolute best way of doing it is, uh, okay, so Elir had here pretty links plugin. Um, the absolute best way to do it, though, is to go into your ClickFunnels account, and I'll show you what happens here. So I'm just going to copy out the part that's highlighted, and we're going to go back into ClickFunnels. And I already pasted this in earlier, so I'll show you what happens is, um, so we paste it in, and what you're going to get is you're going to get your full uh, metadata for your social links right here. So you're going to get your image, you're going to get your description, your name, all that stuff. So let me show you what that looks like inside of the page. Now you see here on this page, when we get inside, it's not going to look like this because actually I'm redirecting this page to the members login page. So because it knows that it actually goes and picks up what's on the members login page and puts it in here. So let's edit the page. And the first thing I'll show you is the SEO metadata. And so we'll go up to settings and down to SEO metadata. And in here, you're going to put in the title that you want for the page, the description, keywords, author, and then you put in your social media image, which will be appearing right here. And so then this shows you how it'll show up on Facebook and Twitter, and this will be how it would show up inside of Google. But what I do on this page here, I just put in a little section. The whole background is black to match the rest of the sites. And I just put this in here just in case something happens and the page does not redirect. They can click on this link and it will take them to the page you were sending them to. So as you're setting this up, of course, you want to make sure you come in and you put in where you want to um, direct them to by putting in a hyperlink for this text right here. So, um, and one thing you can also do is go into the settings for the, uh, for this section, go in there and you can set up under advanced and animation, you can set it up so that on page load, this will scale in and I have it set here for 5,000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. So if by chance the page loads and they end up here and they don't get redirected five seconds later, this is going to pop up giving them instructions to go to the other page by clicking that link. And I set it to five seconds because sometimes it takes a few seconds for the page to load and I didn't want this popping on the screen until I was ready to send them, uh, until this was ready to, to go 
more accurately, before they had a chance for the page to redirect and send them, I didn't want this popping up uh, before it had a chance to redirect. So the only other thing you have to set in here is right here in the tracking code, you have to, this part here says if they're not running scripts, meaning they have JavaScript turned off, then what you want to do is you want to send them to this URL right here is where you would put in your prove it link or anywhere else you wanted to send them to. In this case here, it's the members sign up URL. And then down here, some of this code I'm going to have to take out because it's, it, this part here is not relevant to what we're working on, but otherwise here we do a set timeout for five seconds just so it has enough time to load itself. Um, otherwise the redirect won't work. And then we just, again, put in a link of where we want them to go to. And I'll uh, drop the code in for you guys to take a look at. So that's it. It's really a simple setup. And if you got any questions, just reach out to me.